in the Toy Global Fans, FlyGuy for TechSushi.com with another Marvel Legends review. Finally got my hands on Future Foundation Spider Man. Now I could have bought this for about 20 bucks or whatever the price was, $18, whatever it was, when Darkseid Toys first had this. And it was part of their cases and they had it available, but I'm a dick. So I didn't buy it, stupidly at the time, and uh, left all of these uh, Spider-Man Marvel Legends on, on their shelves, uh, so to speak, and uh, decided not to buy it, and ended up having to get this on eBay and paying a lot of money for it, but uh, had to get it. If you've seen a review of the uh, Big Time Spider-Man, I actually really like it, a lot of people don't, but I like it a lot, and the Scarlet Spider, uh, which I reviewed recently, I picked them both of a Dorsey Toys for a, pre a good price. But I wish I'd got this guy, because uh, it cost nearly, nearly triple. So, uh, very good price uh, overall. A very good figure overall. It wasn't a good price at all. But um, this really is just a repaint of the uh, Scarlet Spider and the Big Time Spider-Man figure. So, there are some flaws with this uh, line. Particularly, it's to do with the size of the hands. They are pretty big. If we look at, and I'll try and give you a look at the... Now, this is from the uh, Superior Spider-Man the uh, one we just reviewed for uh, the channel for the amazing Spider-Man movie. You can see how short the difference is, so it's almost like a finger short in terms of that. So it's uh, really short in the length uh, overall. You see the style the way that Hasbro have done it. They've really just reduced the hand. This was just way too big and uh, overstretched, so it's not the best figure in that aspect. But look, it doesn't really bother me too much. But um, it is a bit odd. But they've corrected it now on these other Spider-Man. So it's the same articulation as before. We've ran through all the kind of uh, bits and pieces. I'll get a quick look at it in a second. But it's, uh, again, identical to the Scarlet Spider-Man and the Big Time Spider-Man. Just a kind of limited paint variation. So six inches in height. And he's pretty rocking. I do like him. Uh, ball jump at the hinge at the uh, neck. Ball jump at the hinge. These double kind of uh, hinges here. You'll see these extra uh, kind of pop-out pieces that's on the... Uh, uh, shoulders there, ball jump at the hinge as well at the shoulders, bicep hinge, double joint uh, at the elbows. He's also got the swivel and that kind of uh, rocking uh, double movement on the wrists there. You can see the ab crunch there and the swivel on the waist. Ball jump at the hinge at the tops of the thighs. He's also got the swivel at thighs too. Uh, tell I is not. He is not. My apologies. Just the ball jump at the hinge at the tops of the thighs. Straight into a double uh, hinge on the knees, and he's got the rockin' vocals. So full-on articulation on Future Foundation Spider-Man. Very glad to get him. So I thought I'd give you guys a look at it if you've never really seen a, an HD review of him up close. The paintwork is a little unusual. And if I straighten him out a little bit, uh, you'll see the way it all kind of flows and works. And basically the insides of him tend to be a little bit more solid black, so underneath the arms, inside uh, of those legs, sorry, the outside of those legs, all black, and at the front of them tends to be mostly all white, so what a bugger to wash this uniform, uh, sit on a bench or something, or stand up against the wall, and his uniform is going to be a mess, but uh, there you go, so uh, rocking figure, really love it, love to know your thoughts, what do you think, Future Foundation Spider-Man and these guys, these variants, did you like them? Uh, did you really care? Uh, what ones did you collect? Was it Big Time Scarlet or this guy? What one was the ones that? What was the? What were the ones that you picked up? Love to know your thoughts. Uh, yet to read Future Foundation Spider-Man, so I don't know a great deal about it other than the Fantastic Four uh, gang get together with this guy. But uh, if again any good arcs or stories, love to know. So uh, yes, there's a link somewhere. We'll put a link to Dropside. You can buy Marvel Legends, and that make sure you pre-order these guys and don't be a dick like me. Trying to get these things in the second-hand market is never good, so uh, yep, pre-order, get them for a good price. Underneath there's well, also the links to all of our social channels, I'm sure you know by now. Uh, Texas is also on Facebook, Google+, Instagram, uh, Twitter, all that stuff, all the links are underneath. And if you're new to the channel, hit subscribe. There's lots of cool videos that will come straight into your inbox, uh, and you'll get them before everybody else. That's it. We'll see you for another Marvel Legends review coming up soon. Cheers.